Singapore, a tropical island known for its food, cleanliness and heat. In fact, the hot weather is one of our favourite things to complain about. But now, there is a good reason to gripe. According to the National Climate Change Secretariat, temperatures here have risen from 26.9 degrees Celsius in 1980 to 28 in 2020. That might not seem like much, but consider this. The maximum temperature went past 34 degrees Celsius several times during a few weeks in April and May this year, with a high of 36.8 degrees recorded on April 1st. I'm Audrey Tan and this is Our Better Nature. In this episode, I find out how Ecoline Solar uses ambient heat to power its aircon units. But first, I speak to Professor Wan, an expert on buildings and the environment, who worked together with Nippon Paint Singapore on research for their cool tech paint, with a trial done on a block of flats at Bukit Permi. So what I'm holding here is an IR camera. That will tell us the surface temperature that the camera is pointing to. And here we have more setup of different surfaces. These are concrete blocks, but they are put on different paints. Even though the same concrete block, they may end up with very different surface temperatures. When applied on surfaces, the heat reflective paint has been shown to reduce the surface temperatures on roofs by up to 22 degrees Celsius and external wall surface temperatures by up to 2 degrees Celsius. Cool paints primarily rely on solar uh, reflective pigment technology. Uh, but other than that, it also relies on the full system, the primers as well as the middle coats, to garner what we call the optimum performance results. So it is a whole system. But of course, the top coat is the most important because it's the one that reflects off the sun ray before it can be absorbed and generated into heat. Another reason we're feeling the heat is the urban heat island effect which is when a city experiences much warmer temperatures than nearby rural areas. We have buildings all around us and urban structures like buildings or road surfaces, they will absorb heat from the sun and then the, this heat will be uh, trapped inside the urban environment. That is one of the reasons that cause urban heat island effect. So climate change is making it hotter in general but urban heat island thing is worsening it. The government has been monitoring temperatures in Singapore and is studying how to mitigate and adapt to heat, so Singapore remains a livable place for all segments of society. As part of the Housing and Development Board's Green Town programme, the government is piloting a cool paint project in Tampanese, where HDB blocks will be coated with heat-reflective paint. Surfaces treated with cool paint absorb less heat in the day and emit less heat at night. If successful, HDB will scale this up to more blocks in the future so residents can enjoy a cooler living environment. As it gets hotter, we inevitably turn to our favourite invention, the air conditioner. But one company, Ecoline Solar, has figured out a way to use heat to power its aircon units. We use our thermal collector to collect all the heat from the ambience and the sun heat to do the uh, superheating up of the refrigerants before entering into the compressor. As a result, we are actually lightening the uh, workload of a compressor. So the compressor does not need to draw too much of a power. That's where energy savings are. So in a way, it's like preheating an oven, right? Yes, exactly. 60% of a building's carbon footprint actually comes from operating air conditioners making it one of the key components a company can look at when looking to save energy. Ecoline makes up 24% of information technology company NCS's air conditioning units at their Badok premises. Since the switch in 2017, they have seen energy savings of 32% and a reduction of 97 tonnes of carbon emissions per year. The cooler air flowing from the compressor has another effect. With traditional aircon system, when you stand beside the air compressor, it's very hot for the security guards. With aircon-line technology, the heat from the compressor is much cooler uh, by about 4 degrees Celsius in terms of the temperature outside. So it gives a more comfortable setting for the security guards as they move in and out. To NCS, it is important because it's about caring for the well-being of our security guards. The solar thermal air conditioning technology does cost 20% more. But according to Ecoline, utility bills can be cut by 30 to 55 percent. During COVID, I was always concerned because everybody got to work from home. My daughter got to study at home. The five bedrooms are almost turned on the whole day. 
I was a bit concerned whether my electricity will go up. But surprisingly, the usage still remained at $300. I was very puzzled and I actually went back to Ecoline and asked them, why is it still the same? Because the aircon actually absorbs the solar and ambient heat and they got this storage bank that keep it in. What they're telling me is that the more you use, the more you save. So while the heat is here to stay, inventions like these might go a long way in not only keeping our buildings cool inside and out, but help reduce the very same greenhouse gases that are causing the heat. Are you ready to make the move? Check out the Singapore Green Plan 2030 website to find out more.